Hi everyone, it's Carnage6 back again, and um, this is just a video of my Dragon Ball D'Agostini and Atlas collection. I was mainly inspired to do this because I saw um, Old Fan's video on her collection, and uh, I'm just going to give you a little bit of information on D'Agostini and Atlas. Now, I have most of the series, I'm still missing a few, like Goku Jr. I do have the Vegeta Jr., as you can see in the front row. But uh, I'm closing down on those, and um, I was going to originally collect both the entire sets of D'Agostini and Atlas figures, but I kind of dropped that idea, because some figures are just like minor paint variations, but I'm going to show you some of those variations, and um, maybe you can decide if you want to collect both of them. So basically what I ended up doing is um, just finding... Looking at the characters in both the D'Agostini version and the Atlas version, and then choosing the best one that I thought would sort of work better. And I also got um, any variants that were significantly different from each other, and later on in the video I'll show you those. First off, let's take a look at... This is only the first part of my D'Agostini collection. Okay, I'm going to try to get a little bit closer so you can see some of them in more detail. Sorry for my shaky camera work, I kind of suck at the uh, handheld stuff. Okay, now into part two of my collection. And now here's part two of my collection of D'Agostini figures. I'll get a little bit closer in a second, so hopefully you can see them better. Alright, again, here's a little bit closer detail. Okay, now on to Atlas. Oops, I forgot three. Okay, and here's some addition ad Atlas figures. I got these ones basically, well, they have counterparts in the Diego scene, but I, I prefer the uh, Atlas version slightly better. You can tell the difference between Atlas and Diagostini. Um, Atlas ones, they have a black base, and the base can kind of be removed easily, and... Um, D'Agostini, they have a white base, and the base is permanently attached to the figure. Now I'm going to get to sh into something different, all the variations between D'Agostini and Atlas figures. There's a lot of variations, so hang on one sec. Okay, now here's the first set of variants. Now, this is something that I haven't heard any Dragon Ball collectors talking about, but there are different hair color variations on the D'Agostini figures. As you can see... The Atlas figure is the one with the black stand, and there are two different D'Agostini versions, one with Bulma with kind of grayish hair, and one with her with uh, blue hair, or green hair. Um, I've never seen people mention the difference in the hair color, but I'm going to show you some variants in this video as well, of that, of an example of that. Now, this is why I didn't collect everything... Atlas and everything D'Agostini. As you can see, the Atlas figure is pretty much the same thing. In this case, it's actually a little... I find the sculpting a bit worse than the D'Agostini, but there's examples where the Atlas version is actually better, and I'm going to get to those in a second. Here's two variants of the Gohan figure, one with black hair, one with brown hair. I don't know in these variants which one is rarer. I'm assuming one is earlier and one is later, but I have no idea. If anyone out there is from Italy and can tell me, what the significance of these variants is, let me know. I'm assuming the brown one came out first and then they realized that it looked wrong so they changed it to the black, but I'm not sure. Again, here's three versions of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Again, we've got on the left the Atlas version, and then on the right we have two D'Agostini versions. One has 
red fur and a red hair, and the other one has brown fur and brown hair. Again, I have no idea what the significance of the variation is. If one's rarer than the other, I don't know. I just saw these in my collection. I kind of noticed it. So, uh, if you know, send me a message. Again, here's just a pretty much uh, color variation. The Edition Atlas on your left and the D'Agostini on your right. Again, this is another reason why I didn't collect both set complete sets of D'Agostini and Atlas. But there is a reason why I was going to collect both sets, and now I'm going to show you that. Because they both made the same characters, but sometimes Atlas had a very different take on the character than D'Agostini did. There's quite a variation. Well, I'm going to show you. Okay, first off, here's a very minor example of what I was talking about. I don't know who the heck this figure is. I haven't watched all of GT, so don't shoot me. But uh, as you can see on the right, the D'Agostini figure is in the left, and on the left is the Atlas figure. You, as you can see, there is different sculpting. The, D, the Atlas figure actually has a tail, whereas the D'Agostini figure does not. Again, a minor variation. The Atlas is on the left, the Agostini on the right. The D'Agostini has some sort of blade sculpted onto his jacket, and the sculpting's a bit different, as you can tell. Don't know who this figure is, either. Now we start getting into the realm of where they had made the exact same figure, but completely different sculpts. As you can tell, this is one of the Shen Shenron dragons, I believe. Completely different in Atlas compared to D'Agostini. But same character. And as you can see, here's Chi Chi. Same figure, different sculpt. And again, Tien. Same figure, different sculpt. Pretty much. It's kind of the same pose, but um, it's still significantly different. And again, I believe this is Dal Taki. In the Atlas version, he has no cape. Or the D'Agostini version, he has a cape. Again, same character, different sculpt on the Atlas compared to the D'Agostini. And again, this is supposed to be the same character, but completely different outfits. There's some minor variations in the sculpt in this one as well. And again, same character, completely different outfits. I kind of prefer the D'Agostini on this one. It's a little bit more um, interesting. And here we have same character, completely different sculpts, con completely different colors even, too. And probably one of the biggest examples, same character, completely different sculpt, completely different pose, completely different facial expression. I kind of prefer the Atlas on this one, he looks a little bit more goofy. Come to my favorite part of the Atlas line, and the fact that they made characters that were not available in the D'Agostini line. As you can see, we've got from left to right the um, Driving School Piccolo, the Giant from the Giant Planet, Super Saiyan Gohan, uh, Baby in a different form. I don't know who the girl in the pink dress is. Is that Marin? I'm not sure. I, as I said, I didn't watch the whole GT. We've got Old Kai, we got Vegeta with mustache, uh, Great Salmon, and uh, Baby in, in his first form. I'll show you them a bit closer. Okay, that about does it for this video. I hope I was um, somewhat informative on the di differences between Atlas and D'Agostini figures. Um, all in all, I kind of prefer the Atlas figures. I mean, D'Agostini has some characters that Atlas never made, and those are cool, like Mr. Popo and stuff. But I don't know, um, the sculpting on the Atlas figure seems to be way better. Like, these four characters in particular, if you compare them to the... D'Agostini versions, the sculpts on these are better. I don't know what they what Ad Atlas did with these to make them better, but they have more sharper, more defined sculpting. Uh, anyway, um, if you see, if you're a collector of D'Agostini and Atlas figures, and you have a figure that I don't have, let me know, because as far as I know, I have the whole set except, um, well, I have every character except the 
Goku Jr. in the cell from Diagostini. If that's not correct, let me know. Um, and again, I'm not trying to collect the whole set of each of them, just ones that are significantly different. So, I don't know, if you're from France or if you're from Italy and you can fill me in on some things, I'd love to hear it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.